I first arrived in Alevsina in, in 2015. I came here because my work in Italy, I collaborated and worked for a, an art foundation in the north of Italy called the Pistoletto Foundation. So I came first uh, to visit because the Leorgio Festival and then I somehow felt very attracted because the tension between uh, ancient Greek uh, mythology and uh, history and the present and the factories, the workers and all that related, related uh, with labor. Um, in my work since many years, 2010, uh, in my artistic practice, I work about labor and workers. So I find very interesting what, is, what was happening at the time, 2015, in Elefsina. And uh, so I decided to propose uh, for the Elorgio Festival first uh, the project, a smaller version of this project. Uh, well, you know, time, time passed and uh, my project was included in the proposal for the uh, Capital of Culture. And then, of course, time passed since 2017 till today, pandemic and also many other things happened. So finally, we were able to realize, well, a big version of that initial idea that I have, which is uh, a portrait. I call this a portrait, I call this a monument to the workers uh, of the city. So this project was conceived for Elefsina, it was conceived for the workers of Elefsina, somehow involving them in their realization. Of course, not in a collaborative way, so they were not part of the discussion of what the idea was, but they were included as you know, members of this community, of this workforce of Elefsina. So I decided to call it the Elefsina Terracotta Army because it refers to the ancient Terracotta Army in China. Uh, which represents, you know, with portraits a huge number of individuals. So what uh, people will see in this exhibition is 202 helmets displayed, and many of them with uh, data coming from the workers from Alexina. So their names, their relatives' names, uh, we ask them up for a hobby, for a color. So each one of these 2002 helmets were done by myself, by hand. I etch them, I paint them, and they will be given back to the workers at the end of the exhibition in February next year. I choose to put the, the helmets on the wall because it reminds how the uh, helmets are also usually displayed or stored in a factory. So after the work, the workers put the helmet hanging on a, on a locker. So I wanted to, you know, to refer to that. Those uh, helmets that we are displaying here all refer to workers who are active workers or retired. Uh, so the idea of the monument for living people is important to me. And uh, another element in the installation will be the soundscape. But I have collaborated with artist uh, Yorgos Moraitis from Athens, and, and he has developed this soundscape, which brings the factory, the sounds of the factory, the active factories to the exhibition. So th these are the two elements that uh, together give this idea of, of a life in the factory. And another important element of the whole project is a documentary, and, uh, and director Yorgos Kivernikis is developing and will be ready after the exhibition. The element of the clay is very important in the project, of course, all but the helmets are done by clay, and I my, myself have been working with clay since many years. Uh, I'm the son of a ceramist, so I grow, I grow up uh, seeing uh, uh, my mother working with ceramics, teaching ceramics, so it stayed with me for long, uh, in the background, let's say, and uh, something like 10, 12 years ago I came, I bring back ceramics into, into my, my artwork, so I've been using and doing research related to, to clay, to the soil, the different uses of clay, and so, of course, in this project, it's very important, this link between the material and the object. When I came here the first time, I, I visited the, um, the Archaeological Museum. There are beautiful objects done in Elefsina with terracotta from the place. So I wanted to link to that element, which has been present in here since ancient times. You know, many moments that were, for me, very 
it's an emotional and in contact with the with the city. In 2019, I visited uh, some of the bigger factories in Elefsina, the shipyard, the cement factory. I visited the refinery, and I had the chance to present the work uh, to the workers, big groups of them, and to have questions from them. And that was very interesting and also challenging, you know, you know to answer a direct question for them, why I'm doing this, why I want to portray such uh, uh, the workers, uh, what is my back background, why I want to talk about the workers. So, you know, that was a big moment of conversation with the, with the workers' population, let's say. And then when I came in, in 2023, early this year, um, I had the chance to work with one of the um, um, retired workers and to have a discussion with him, to speak about work. And he, I think the link with him, you know, how he understood my idea, he introduced me to, all, to a big group of uh, retired workers. That was also very important for me, you know, to hear and to have the feedback of how this person and this big group of people perceive what I was proposing to them. Those were for me like two key moments in my experience in Elefcina. You know, Medellin is a very big city, it's a metropolis, more than three million people living in Medellin, uh, but in Medellin has an industrial past. So it was the industrial city in Colombia. It, that, that decline maybe in the 80s and 90s where the, uh, where the iron factory closed in Medellin, so the big industries were move outside of the city. But Medellin has an industrial past. So I grew up, you know, in the 70s and 80s, seeing the industry, seeing the factories. So somehow this landscape of factories, the industrial landscape, it has some kind of link for me, you know, between the place where I grew up and, and Elefcina. Of course, being the two of them very different, Elefcina is far smaller than Medellin, but I think they share this industrial, industrial, present in the case of Elefcina and past in the case of Medellin. I work about workers and labor since many years, far, you know, far time ago. And um, my question or my idea is that the workers has a very important role in the transformation of the city. They build the city, you know, in some cases with their own hands, but they build uh, the transformations of the city. So I'm, my wish for Elefcina is that the workers continue being involved in involved in the transformation of the city, of course, in a very positive and, you know, in a very um, um, shared way for everyone. So my wish is that the workers continue being uh, and having an important role in the city and its transformation.